Hiding your sphincters and prepare for an awesome video. Thirdman55 here, and today on my farming simulator reviews for the 2017 game, I will be reviewing the two Hurleyman tractors that you can find in Farming Simulator 17. I'll be going over various stuff with them, so yeah. Now, this Hurleyman. Overpower Prestige Turbo 90 H488 is the very first tractor you can get from the store on Farming Simulator 17. This was really nice. It's kind of your basic tractor. Got your weight holders up in the front, your, your little PTO right there can operate various tools that are in this game same with the back you can attach various tools in the back and yeah I'm not really gonna show you them because well I mean if you know how a tractor basically operates you know how it can haul tools so yeah it's got a really eh really nice light olive yellowish green color yeah it's, it's not too bad i'd say more light olive green let's jump inside the tractor here so as you can see you got your looks like some gear shifters there little levers there and stuff got a really nice seat here little seat there with a bunch of railings and a cubby where you can put various junk and you got a nice steering wheel with the Hurleyman H and a wreath around it. It was really nice. You got your various pedals and stuff down there. I will show you guys the lights very quick. Oh yeah, and the mirrors work. So that's nice. You got your radio, air conditioning system. And this thing actually lifts up. Well, not really, but it's just there for show. But yeah, here is... The lights of the tractor is pretty cool. Got your little signal lights right up there and right back there, which is cool. All your lights there. They do work really well. And now we will do the startup sound of the tractor. Got 43 kilometers on this thing we can do. It's a pretty loud, pretty loud little tractor that does swing a little bit. A lot actually. <laughs> you got a little flapper on your exhaust pipe which is pretty cool. That's what the turn off sound sounds like. We'll check out some options we have. Basically just narrow tires and standard. That's what the standard wheels look like. The rims are cream color in there. The tires are of a very small footprint. And make it, that makes it easy for seeding and stuff. Fertilizing, spraying, whatever. So you don't really take up too much of the crop space. All right. And this tractor, once you start it and go to go, it actually takes a few few seconds, but uh, yeah, and this one does have a dinky horn on it, no beacon lights, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool, doesn't have much horsepower because can't really change, change the engine much, but uh, yeah, that was the Hurleyman Prestige. Now we will move on to the Hurleyman XM130T4 V Drive. This looks really cool. It's a darker olive green, kinda. No, it's a dark forest green. We got the. Whereas this one was just older. This is the newer Hurleyman. 
the 1929, which is cool, with the curly man in there, the red background and some wheat around it, and a wreath symbol, or shape, got your PTO in there, kind of, some attachers for weights and stuff, and in the grill they got red hexagon stuff, which is really nice. As well as over there, kind of looks like the tractor has gills, which is pretty cool. Got red rims, rims. sorry for that, a voice crack. <laughs> Even though I'm 20, I'm still going through voice cracks. It's kind of funny. Here's the back attacher for various tools and stuff. But enough about the outside, let's go in the inside. So, from the outside, you can see... They got red lines on the dash, which is really, really nice. I never noticed it before, but uh, those are really cool. And this one does have a sunroof. You got your AC conditioner unit, and the mirrors are acting weird up there. I don't know what the heck they're doing. You got the two side mirrors. Over here you got your light controls really nice steering wheel a gray steering wheel that has grippy is very grippy looks like a sports car steering wheel kind of it's got little red highlights on it and the red hurley men symbol which is <laughs> not straight if you ask me you can see the little uh gauge cluster there in there Kind of, a little bit. Got your various controls for your tools and such. Got a really nice seat. A kind of a dark navy bluish gray. And kind of a brown with the Hurley Man in there. That's really cool. You got the passenger seat folded up. Which is pretty cool. They get a little dinky seat. Yeah. This is a pretty nice interior. Now we will have the tractor startup noise. This is pretty cool. Now we will turn on all her lights. <laughs> pretty cool. Very cool exhaust though too. Comes right out and then angles up and then comes up and then goes out again. It's pretty cool. Now you got your light cluster here with your signal lights. It's pretty cool. You got beacon lights on this one that work. I read sunroof that works. That sunroof you can actually pop open, but they didn't add that feature in game. But that would have been cool. And on the back here, you got your signal light there. Your brake light there. After you start this one, this tractor, you do have to wait a little bit. This one can go 43 kilometers per hour like the other one. And it's cool, the brake lights are right in there. No reverse lights, which is strange. Kind of a nice sound. And let's see what we have for customization options. You can add a front loader attacher, which is cool. You have an engine setup of XM130 T41, T4i, which is the basic, I think. No, XM110 T4i is the basic. And you go, oh, between 110 and 130, and that's it. And then for here, you got the standard tires, which lowers her down a little bit and then you have the wide tires which widen the wheels out and make the tractor a little taller in the back and then you have the narrow tires like the other one which is really cool for seating and such we will we will leave that on 
And now we will go park beside our prestige. This is what they look like together now. With their narrow wheels. Oh yeah, and this one has a dinky horn too. So uh yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please give Dirt Man here a like. Comment if you want. Like if you want. It's just there. You don't have to do it. But uh yeah. If you do enjoy, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Or share it or whatever. Or if you guys enjoy this, please comment that you do. If you don't, well, some of you won't like it, some of you will, it's just... It's just an idea that I plan out doing for my channel, so... Yeah. If you guys liked it, please comment, like, and subscribe, like I said before. And... and I will see you guys next time.